Hey to Z, Domain to Genus here. Welcome to Eleven Enlightenments. On this week's episode, the Eurasian magpie. The Eurasian species of magpies comes under the binomial nomenclature of Pika Pika. The genus and species named Pika is the classical Latin word for magpie. Originally, the Eurasian magpie was in the genus Corvus when described in 1758 by Carl Linnaeus in his 10th edition of the System Naturae. Only two years later was it moved to its current genus, Pika. Magpies were originally called pies. This comes from the Proto-Indo-European pie, meaning pointed, referring to either the beak or the tail. The mag comes from Margaret which was used to denote how the magpie's call sounded like women chattering. When it comes to the common name, the Eurasian magpie is no slouch in fulfilling a title. The many subspecies of Pika Pika range from Ireland to Iraq to the far east of Russia and China. The most well-known subspecies, certainly in Europe, is the subspecies Pika Pika Pika. Almost every subspecies bears the same glossy black feathers over the head, back, wings, and tail, with a few notable exceptions. The North African subspecies, P.P. mauritanica, has a blue patch behind the eye and a longer tail. The Arabian, P.P. acerensis, has smaller patches of white than most, whereas the Asian, P.P. bactriana, has larger. The number of Eurasian magpie subspecies is debatable, as if you claim the two American magpies as separate species, then you should also count the Korean magpie as its own species, Pika cerecia, instead of the subspecies, Pika Pika cerecia. The two American magpie species are also in the genus Pika. No matter where magpies are across Europe and Asia, they're seen as tokens of luck, either good or bad. In Europe specifically, the magpie is often viewed as a thief, associated with witchcraft and a loving of shiny objects. In China and Korea though, magpies are seen as symbols of good fortune. And across the entire supercontinent, their thought to predict the future. Though their fortune-telling abilities may seem skeptical, the Eurasian magpie is one of, if not the, most intelligent bird. It is one of the two current non-mammal species to have passed the mirror recognition test, and some ornithologists argue that they display complex emotions such as grief. The Eurasian magpie's intelligence could easily be linked to the size of their brains. The brain-to-body mass ratio of P. pika is roughly equal to that of most dolphins, whales, and great apes. That includes humans. Their intelligence allows them to use tools, store food over seasons, and have an episodic memory, where two individuals will remember the same events, except differently. The food that they store and eat ranges from vegetation such as acorns, to meat scraps and other young birds. Eurasian magpie chicks tend to hatch after three weeks of being incubated from a blue-green egg with specks of brown. The young are blind for roughly the first week after hatching, and may fledge after four weeks. The first three or so weeks, the chicks have no chance of flight, and so defecate in the nest, rather than at the edge. To prevent infection from this, the parents eat the feces. And with that, this has been Eleven Enlightenments. See you next time.